Hey, morning everyone. Welcome back again. Uh, Monday morning. She's been a marathon the last couple of days here. I gave her hard and uh, hit a milestone on the Fargo. I got uh, all of the rust repair done already. We're finally, thank God, this thing was uh, a lot bigger project than I expected, but she's all done. Uh, I'll take you for a little tour of what I got done and uh, what it looks like here. But first I wanted to show you a couple things here. Uh, CanadaWelding.ca As I mentioned about the Cayman gloves. Uh, that's their decal and logo right there. They came through in, uh, in spades. They uh, sent me two pair of these Black Stallion TIG welding gloves. They're their original design and uh, I really put these ones to the test here in the last uh, the last four or five days and uh, they held up way better than those Caymans did. So uh, anyhow, uh, kudos to Canada Welding for looking after a, a poor product in a stellar kind of way. So what we, uh, one of the things that I did over the last couple of days was trying to get the sides of the box all straightened out uh, from the factory they must uh, put these boxes together on a jig or something they have these see if I can get enough light in here for you to see uh, just a sec these braces that are welded to the fenders front and rear and then up at the front there is a uh, a major brace that comes across right here and uh, what we had on this one was this fender on the uh, passenger side was way too far in right there that bracket wasn't welded in in the right spot and then this heavy brace that's in the front here was uh, not cut straight and it was putting pushing out about three-eighths of an inch on the center of the uh, the box side here causing it to not line up properly so I cut it in the center rewelded it back together I had to bend the rear brace here probably close to an inch at the bottom to get the fender to run in a nice straight line and then I did the same thing on the other side here both of them had to be uh, had to be adjusted. This one, uh, the rear one, I had to cut and rebend, and the front one I had to cut and move it in to get these lines to line up properly. Not sure if it'll show up, but if you look from the side here, now the panels all run the way they're supposed to. And then the big part is uh, back here. So let me put you in the tripod. I've got all the hinges modified. Tailgate closes beautifully. And then uh, at the back, I've got uh, both rear corners are done. As you can see, no more rust. So pretty happy with that. Going to be uh, nice having this uh, working on good stuff on it. Just going to lift you up a little bit. So the next portion, or the next stage in the build here, is I have to rebuild this structure across here. That's main support for the box. I have to cut an access hole in here for license plate bolts. And then I'm going to manufacture a roll pan that's the same shape as the bed corners. Go across with a French license plate in it. And as you can see, these black 
openings here while they're actually just painted on. If you take a look up here, the shape of the back window is the same shape as those. I'm going to uh, put the exhaust tips out through the back and that's going to be the, uh, the shape of them. So that'll be the next thing I'm working on and uh, I'll be starting on that later today and uh, go from there. So uh, one other thing I wanted to mention and a channel that I found on, uh, on YouTube. The guy's clear across the other side of the world, uh, right in the southernmost part of uh, Africa. A uh, real cool guy named Duff and his channel's called Rat Rods for Africa. Check him out if you're into rat rods. He builds some really cool stuff out of pieces and parts he finds all over uh, that part of the country. But uh, it's a pretty cool channel, guys. So anyhow, thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching. I'll bring you back once I get uh, started on this roll pan here.